So the first knot that we're gonna learn is the sheet bend knot. This knot is designed to give you the ability to tie two different size ropes together. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab the larger size rope and you're gonna put a bend in it right here at the end, just like this. Next, you're gonna grab the smaller rope and you're gonna run it straight through the larger rope and then simply run it back around and then underneath of its own self and then pull it tight. That is a sheet bend knot. Let me demonstrate one more time. Put a bend in the rope, run the smaller rope through the hole, run it up and around, then simply pull it through. Now you have two different size ropes tied together and that's it, it's that simple. So the second knot that we're gonna learn is the square knot. This knot is easy to get confused. It's easily confused with the granny knot, which is a big difference. It's not as effective by any means. So it's important that you follow along with this. This is a big mistake that I made was making the granny knot instead of the square knot, which I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So you simply start out with both sides of the rope and you're gonna make sure to put the left side over the right side of the rope. Come underneath like this. Now this time, you're gonna put the right side of the rope over the top of the left side of the rope and come underneath. Now it's going to make this crazy eight and you can see how they're perfect loops interwound. Now a mistake that is easily made is starting off the same way with your left side over the right side, coming underneath the same way, and then coming over the top with the left side over the right side again, like this. And you'll see that they look somewhat sim similar, but this is more of a pretzel shape. So whenever you're making this knot, I'll show you the correct way one more time. Make sure that the left side of the rope goes over the right side of the rope initially. Come under. And then when you go to make the same knot, make sure you do the opposite. Right side of the rope over the top of the left side. And that is a square knot. So the third knot that we're gonna learn is the clove hitch. This knot is really important to know whenever you're tying your rope to any sort of a fixed object, or in this case, a PVC pipe, anything solid that you need to tie the rope to. It's actually really simple to do. Just wrap the rope over the top of the object, then wrap it around like such, and then come back around over the top of the rope over itself. And then as you come, come back around, You'll come underneath that last loop you just did just like that so let's redo that again so got your rope wrap it around the top don't go on this side you need to come around this side and so it goes over the top of itself here so over the top of itself and then with that same part that you just wrapped over, you'll come underneath it and then come tight like that. And that's how you do a clove hitch. So the fourth knot that we're gonna learn is the inside bowline knot. There is an outside and an inside bowline knot. I will show you at the end what the difference is, but this knot is really important. It's considered one of the most useful knots in general. Um, it's great for, again, a lot like the clove, clove hitch, tying to objects, only the difference is when you tie it down, it doesn't crank onto the object or slip onto it. So this is one of the more difficult knots that you're gonna have to learn. It's gonna take some time. There's multiple ways that you can do it. 
I'm, I tried to find the best way that I know how to do this knot and the, the easiest way to do it. It's different from how I actually learned it, but I think this way is easier that I'm about to show you than how I originally learned it. So what you're gonna do is take your rope like this and you have your standing end and your running end. And this is considered the slip knot method. It, it turns into a bowline knot, but I'll show you what I mean. So as you run this piece of the rope, the running end, end over the object, you bring it back underneath like this. Now with this left hand, you're gonna flip it over so your thumb's on the bottom and turn it up like this to where you have a loop. Now with the same standing end with that loop, you're gonna run it through that loop that you first created like this. So now you've created a slip knot. Now with the running end, wrap it through this new loop that you've created and now run it back to itself and pinch your fingers together here. And now you simply pull the standing end and the running end, see how this loop went over the top? And I'm gonna pull this tight and there is your inside bowline. The reason why it's called an inside bowline is as you can see, this running in is inside the loop. An outside bowline would have this opposite, so this end would actually be on the outside. For NCCO, they require us to do an inside bowline. So let's do that again. Okay. So, my standing end, my running end, I run it over like this. Take my left hand, flip it over to make a loop. Then take the standing rope here, run it through like this. Now I'm gonna take my running end, run it through that second loop, back to itself, pinch my fingers together, and pull it tight. And there is your inside bowline knot. So the fifth and final knot is two half hitches. This knot is actually really easy to remember and it's probably one that you've been doing your whole life and didn't even realize it. Uh, don't let the names confuse you. It's really simple to do. You just take your running end of the rope, run it underneath the object like so, and then follow it on this side so it can come back around underneath itself, the standing part, and then tighten it. There's one. Now we do the same exact thing again underneath itself and tighten it. And there's two half hitches. So let's demonstrate one more time. Take your rope, run it underneath then off to the right side, then come underneath the standing side of the rope, tighten it, there's one half hitch, and there's the second half hitch. It's really that simple.